The gentleman from Alexandria, Mr. Pika. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaking to the amendment. Colleagues, Mr. Speaker, the governor's budget is a better budget for our kids because it brings our taxpayer dollar home. As the Fairfax delegate just said, taking our taxpayer money home lets us provide raises and take real action to hire and keep great teachers. We know that at-risk students who show up for kindergarten ready are much more likely to graduate and succeed than those who don't. To address this, the governor's budget makes sure we are investing in pre-K. We know that healthy kids are much more likely to make it in school. This budget expands access to Virginia's successful children's health program. Our own research group, JLARC, has told us that longer school years can make a real difference for struggling students. This budget puts its money where our rhetoric is and helps local school divisions create extended year schools. We know that family stability is critical to a student's success. Debt, bankruptcy, or loss of work due to illness can devastate a family. By helping the parents of our children get health care, we can help reduce some of the instability that hampers family and student success. We know what works. By doubling our state investment in the Jobs for Virginia Graduates program, this budget takes direct action to boost graduation rates, college attendance, and jobs for our students with an effective, proven program. We know that local school boards and governments are currently struggling with their budgets. In part, this is because the state has stepped away from some of its school funding responsibilities. This budget takes direct action to improve the shared state and local responsibility to our students. Despite all the rhetoric about clean budgets, I don't know how you explain to parents, teachers, and employers that you think a budget that helps our schools is somehow dirty. On the contrary, the only truly clean budget we are debating today is this one, the one that doesn't shortchange our students to spite the president. This budget takes real action for our kids and is ready to go now. We don't have to make our local communities wait weeks or months or years for extra resources. We can do it today. My colleagues' growing beards can shave them off today. I encourage my colleagues to vote yes on the governor's better budget. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.